Master Tour allows you to create print reports of tour info from scratch or several existing and custom print templates. In this video, we'll be showing you how to navigate and use the print editor's abilities. Without further ado, let's get started. To find the template editor, first click on File at the top left corner, followed by Print. When in the template gallery, click on Add Template on the left side of the category of type you're working on. In my case, I'll pick dailies. First, I'll start by applying a name for my print template at the top right corner. Now I can add a row by clicking on the Add Row button or clicking on the row that reads Drop Print Component. Once a new row has been added or selected, you can now add new columns and more through the option on the lower right side of the application. To add a new column to a row, click on part of your row, then click on the Add Column button on the right-hand side to add a new column on the left. Split column will add a new column to the right of your currently selected column. If you take a look at the top right section, Master Tour 3 has different print blocks for the listed categories you need info on. To add one of these and simply click and drag on the desired block and place it onto your newly made row or column. Once a print block of your choice has been added, you will see a list of merge fields you can add to your template on the right-hand side. This is what will allow the magic of automatically applying your touring data onto your print upon exporting. Just click on any of these drop-downs to see the available merge fields, then click on a merge field to add it to your print block. After adding a merge field, you can see it highlighted in light blue with a label of what type of information it's retrieving. You can also type in your text without using merge fields, which will just appear as regular text without the blue highlight in your print block. To style or align your merge fields and other texts, you can select that text in the print block edit section on the right and change font, font size, font style, and alignment using the toolbar at the top of the print block edit section. To change things like text color, background color, padding and borders for a row or column of print blocks, click on your block of choice and scroll down on the right-hand side. Both padding and borders will apply to all four sides of your selected print block. To delete rows or columns, select what you want to remove and click on Delete Row or Delete Column. Keep in mind that deleting a row will also delete any columns placed in it. With some types of print blocks, you can use a table format instead of the standard text format. To use this format, just drag a print block onto your template page, then select the table option in your print block edit section. Here you can choose from a selection of available fields to drag over to your columns, and you'll see a preview of these fields on the left side of the template editor. In the print block edit section, you can also rearrange the order of any of your placed columns by clicking and dragging them in your desired order. To delete a column from your table, click on the trash icon next to the column you want to remove. With the table format of a print block, you can customize either individual table columns or the table as a whole. To do so, click on the table and or a table column and scroll down on the right-hand side. Here you can find font, font size, text align, color, border, and padding options. You also have show header, footer, and item count options, which you can toggle on or off depending on your preference. With table type print blocks, you can also select different background colors for different rows to help with readability. To set alternating colors on your table rows, click on the odd row background or even row background color box to select the color. For guest list print blocks, you can set up your print template to filter out specific priorities or statuses by default. Just select the priority or status options that you want to include, and only those guest listings will appear when you print this template. You'll also have the option to filter out requesters or events. To add a week at a glance print block, click and drag the block to your desired row. With a week at a glance block, you will see upcoming tour dates, day title, city, state, and country in a seven day row. You can also choose a start date for the seven dates that display. You can decide to start on your currently selected day, Sunday, or Monday. You also have the option to dim any calendar dates that you have not added tour dates for in Master Tour by selecting Dim Non-Active Days. You can also add the logos that were prompted at the creation of your organization. If you did not upload any at the start, you can upload them by going to clicking on the Settings wheel at the top left corner and then clicking on the logo section within your organization settings. Once you have logos uploaded for your organization, you can drag and drop a logo print block onto your print template. 
Once placed, you can choose between your primary, horizontal, and square logos. You can also adjust the size and alignment and use any of the usual row or column styling settings. We hope this video has helped you build confidence when using the template editor. And remember, if the guest list is not on paper, tell them to check, master, tour,